How's it going, everybody? Andy McCall from the Kansas City Star here uh, in the press box at Rogers Center where the Royals uh, won a, a really, really tremendous game uh, over the Blue Jays. 7-6. to six. Um, The Blue Jays are just a ferocious offensive team. You saw that today. Uh, Wade Davis gave up his first home run since August 24th, 2013. Um, I was living in New Jersey at the time. That's how long ago. Uh, Wade Davis gave up a, last gave up a home run. Uh, Greg Holland, great stuff in the ninth inning to get through. Uh, really, you know, the, to get through the Blue Jays lineup, he was facing the bottom of the order, but he, he got da Josh Donaldson to ground out um, to make the last out, which is impressive because not many people have gotten Josh Donaldson out for the Royals here in this series. Um, good stuff from the offense as well. You know, Ben Zobrist uh, hit homers from both sides of the plate. Those are his first two homers as a Royal. He also contributed a double. Um, Kansas City came back from a, a four-run deficit and really just had a you know just a just a great win. I mean, Toronto's a, a really really good club. Um, their offense never quits. They really can't pitch much, and the bullpen of theirs is pretty leaky. But you know, inside this park, they can tie the game very very quickly. They can do a lot of damage, and so the Royals snapped a three-game losing streak and uh, and got out of here with a win. Um, you're not even sure it was okay. You know, he gave up five runs, but he did give the team seven innings, um, three of those runs stemmed from a pair of homers by Donaldson and Jose Bautista, um, but you know those came in the fifth, and Ventura didn't crumble. You know he he managed to get through it and you know give the team two more runs, and that allowed Davis and Holland to handle the last six outs. Um, so the Royals will see if they can try and get a split tomorrow. They'll be facing R. A. Dickey and Edison Volquez will be taking them out for them. Um, you can read more about all this in the page of the Kansas City Star and KansasCity.com. Have a good one.